Hi friends, hope you are doing well. I am Dr. Malin Chinde. So I am making this video specifically about USMLE First Aid uh, uh, Volume One book. There have been a lot of uh, questions and a lot of confusion about students' mind whether to read this book or uh, skip this book. So I have uh, made few slides so that will help you uh, to decide whether to how to utilize this book, whether uh, how useful this book is for uh, one uh, one's PG preparation. So guys, what I have uh, is I also have a uh, I am reading this book like in 2017. I think 1617 was the first time I got introduced to this book. When I was preparing for my PG uh, prep, my as I told you that my target was INI, my target was AIMS. So uh, that time I read a lot of uh, AIMS topics interview, and what I consistently uh, found that time that they all mention about this USMLE first aid book. I mean, not for only MLE but also specifically for the AIMS exam. And uh, then one in, uh, one uh, topper, his one line made an impact on me that he said that uh, USMLE first aid somehow it helps. That's what his uh, exact words. And then I took those words. Uh, I found it very convincing that time, and I uh, decided to add this book to my existing uh, because I already had a lot of notes and review books. So I decided I'll add this book to my uh, store source. And definitely, I think it has helped me a lot. And I am going to discuss with you that whether. Uh, uh, this is simply first aid book. Is it must or uh, one can skip it? So let's start uh, today's discussion. In this next few minutes, uh, we will uh, talk about it. So we will uh, discuss it. What are the pros and what are the cons of uh, this book? So what I think there are more, I mean, a lot of pros of this book. So first of all, it's a very concise book. So why? Because with a book of this volume, the kind of information and the and of this voluminous information this book offers, it's literally uh, compared to its volume, it's very good. It's a very concise book. There are a lot of images, graphs, tables. So if you see the pattern of exam that we currently have, it's mostly the uh, image-based questions, mostly clinical scenarios. So this exam actually caters what is needed for current uh, exam pattern. Third is there are a lot of mnemonics. As we have to remember 19 subjects, we always try to find and try to make mnemonics. So this book actually makes it easier. There are a lot of mnemonics given for the drugs, for the tables, for the microbiology, for for everything, for everything they have made mnemonics. There are a lot of mnemonics. And I think that is one uh, very uh, good aspect of uh, this book. Then this book is best and it is must for basic sciences. I think uh, I have uh, told you guys that for I and I, exam like INA, basic sciences is something that, find, uh, that forms the foundation of the exam. So this book is best for basic sciences. All basic sciences have been given nicely in this book. Then about high yield. So this book is uh, basically a fact. It's all about facts. I mean, you'll find all every uh, line is actually uh, MCQ. So that's why it book, uh, this book becomes very high yield. Then about biostatistics. If you go and search for biostatistics, so there are a lot, a lot of uh, books about biostatistics and it's very difficult to go through them. And also during our UG days, we don't uh, spend a lot of time on that. But biostatistics always there are because now it's more about the research. So in INIs also you get a lot of questions from biostatistics. So this book also has a small, very small portion about biostatistics, but a lot of concepts can be cleared about uh, biostatistics. Then feels like you know of basic sciences. Again, about the basic sciences, when you, uh, when you are reading any class notes or a particular source for your uh, basic sciences, your first and second class subject. So reading this book, it will fill those gaps. Like some parts will be missing from your basic sciences, which are very important. As I say, this feel, these are rank building subjects. So it fills the lacuna of these uh, basic sciences. Also, it very beautifully integrates the basic sciences with the uh, clinical uh, subject. Like when you read the nephrology from it, so you'll see the embryology, anatomy, then physiology, and slowly, slowly, you'll be taken over the pathology and then medicine and then pharmacology. So this is how the chapters progress. So they have beautifully integrated uh, basic sciences with uh, the clinical data that is uh, needed. And most importantly, rapid revision. So this, because of the volume of the, uh, the book, it's very easy to uh, revise it. So that these are the pros uh, which actually book has. Now coming to the cons. So I think this book has very less cons, but uh, which are actually, I will say more than cons, I'll say the difficulties that uh, you will have in uh, saying this book. See, a lot of students, what they do, they add notes to it. See, as I said that every line of USMLE first aid uh, part one book is MCQ. So adding more information to it will only confuse you and it will be difficult to remember and retain. So do not add things to it. It's already a like very concise uh, thing and you're making it another book. Difficult to read along with existing notes and to written. Yes, definitely what the problem I also faced that it's another book. You are adding another book to your uh, existing and you're already reading so many notes. So reading another note and uh, 
as i said even if you read like two three pages of first aid book you will feel tired because there is so much information in those pages that you feel tired after that so it's a, it's a difficult book, uh, book to read and that is why a lot of students as, as i said it's a small book so anybody can add to their source but because of the having difficulty in reading a lot of uh, students they are confused whether to add it or not then third thing is there is a too much information on one page so you have to be attentive throughout you cannot just say that uh, sometimes what happens we are not focused so you read half of the page and then you uh, phase out but you have to be very focused while reading each line of this uh, book and as i said one more book to read and remember so that is that i think difficulty is about this book so what i will say and what most of the toppers they recommend about uh, particularly about this so first thinking this is must for nicit so if your if your target is nicit if you see some people the target is always need to need pg nicit they give because it is on the way or like everybody is giving so they give but if you are someone who particularly planning like like me i want to go only in nai so this book is must for you you should go through this book at least read three times before exam it's a small book and i'll tell you what to read so you have to just go through this book if you are uh, preparing for nai this book is definitely used to fill the lacuna in basic sciences and this is a very important uh, book for that so as i explained in my previous slide so this book is useful for basic science that is on my take how to read it what i can say that you can read at least five pages a day that was actually what i also did because reading more than that is difficult to retain more than that is difficult so use it as a supplement like in the day what we do like we eat fruits as a supplement we take vitamins as a supplement so you can take this book as a supplement not a main course so just maybe even two three pages would be enough uh, even if you read it twice it's okay just you would read the table you see the mnemonic so even three four pages a day can be as i given the range like three to eight you can go any as per your convenience and as per your seed you can get and definitely you'll get benefited even if you read three pages a day you'll get benefited from it now you have lot of important charts and tables and images so you can take the image, uh, photos of those charts and you can just return them uh, and you can revise them often so that is that's how you can take best of this book and first of all my uh, advice don't add any input to first aid because it's already very high yield and adding it to only make it difficult for you so can it be skipped lot of students they ask sir can we skip first aid i mean can we not read uh, first aid yes uh, i can say for neat pg uh, this book actually is a very beneficial so if you ask my personal opinion so you should actually uh, read this book at least in parts so this is what i want to tell so instead of skipping what you can do so this book has uh, high yield general principles and high yield organ system so actually this is where i want to talk about this part biochemistry immunology micro pathopharma and public health sciences so this is something this is about 245 pages so i think i don't think 245 pages are uh, like it's a lot and uh, about its uh, first uh, you have to start from the page 31 so 31 to 245 so you it's more of a 2 220 pages you don't have to read a lot so i think these 220 pages will be very game can be game changer for you so if you read five pages you will be able to revise at least twice before your uh, exam so this is something that you should focus on this and for the high yield organ system you should focus more on tables mnemonics graphs and images because it's all high uh, yield organ system they have lot of uh, tables they they have lot of images and these images i have seen few images directly coming in the exam so definitely you can study image based graph based and table based information from high yield high yield organ system and you can study everything from the high yield general principles so this way you can actually utilize this book better and you can uh, use the important points you don't have to read this uh, book page to page so use it as a supplement so i think first aid is something that you should uh, definitely add to your uh, source and it is going to be uh, help you for ini as well for neat pg as well and also in life because this book keeps adding the basic features when you move ahead it keeps you attached to your basic principles your basic sciences so even if for a general clinician this book will be very useful for you so that's all my uh, take on uh, your simile first aid uh, part 1 so i think i hope it helps and guys if you have any other question let me know in the comment section and uh, i wish you all the rest and take care